refused service over a face mask. An incident between a customer and a Starbucks employee goes viral. Fox 5's Jeff McAdam joins us live from Claremont with that story. Jeff. Hi, Maria. Yeah, well, it was the customer who took the interaction to social media, uh, hoping that people online would see where she was coming from. But by looking at the comments, it seems that most people are siding with the employee. Take a look. Here's what we're talking about. We blurred the names and the faces just out of safety. We had to. A woman posted a picture of the employee along with the caption, which reads, Meet blank from Starbucks, who refused to serve me because I'm not wearing a mask. Next time, we'll wait for cops and bring a medical exemption. The post has over 80,000 comments in the past 24 hours. Most of the people siding with the employee, who we've been told is a young guy, maybe just 17 years old. The county says individual businesses have every right to refuse service to someone, even if they have a medical exemption to wearing a mask. And the county went even a step further today to say essentially, this woman was out of line, saying she could have stayed outside or gone through a drive through Well, this story may have a silver lining. The community rallying behind the employee one guy starting to go fund me for the kid and it blew up over $8,000 collected so far. Just so that I could go ahead and send the kid a tip. And originally I was just planning on putting all the money, giving it to my buddy Charles and having him take it on over to the Starbucks location, not realizing that it was going to take off nearly the way that it did. I mean, originally I set the goal as $1,000. And to me, that was a stretch. I was like, there's no way I'm going to get this kid $1,000. Yeah, I suppose all's well that ends well. So listen, it's up to the private business, each individual business to decide whether they want to allow people with exemptions to be able to not wear masks inside. We reached out to Starbucks a few hours ago. We have yet to hear back. We also went over to the customer's house. Uh, we got a hold of her spouse and he said, you know what, my wife does have uh, a bit of a medical situation.